Hello there, this is Malik, and welcome to episode 40 of my Let's Play Minecraft Season 3. Um, as you can see, I've rearranged the table a little bit, I've dug, and it took me, you know, a reasonable amount of time, I suppose, and I finally gave up and started using the steel pick, um, and, and made a new steel pick, um, and put some fences around. So as you can see, it's starting to take shape, that's kind of what I envisaged, and it actually doesn't look half bad. So you can go all the way around, got the nice staircase. Yeah, you can see I've been been busy. Not massively, massively busy. You know, it's not like you've missed a huge amount. Um, a lot of it was just, as you can see, repetitive building and getting rid of smooth stone and replacing it with bricks, which obviously I've not finished because, well, most of it's still crappy smooth stone. I never thought I'd say that. Actually, having a home made of smooth stone was like the height of fashion almost, because cobble looks ugly. But now I'm actually building my home out of bricks. Smooth stone is just so yesterday. You know. I've also decided to make some rooms, literally places for people to live. Um, and as you can see, not only they auto close, but um, you know it's a nice little room, it's got a crafting table and random furnace, a little chest for storing crafting -y stuff, so that's kind of like your crafting station, bit of a fire place to keep warm, nice roaring fire, a bed, which is a little bedside, little chest for storing stuff in, and a lovely painting of, of well, some sort of angel praying to the void. I never really did understand half of these strange paintings. And they're, they're, you know, even though it's the HD texture pack, they are pretty um, faithful, ironically, faithful to the original theme. So yeah, it's yeah, it's quite nice. Um, the other, um, the other room is pretty much the same, but in reverse. And obviously, uh, someone setting themselves on fire, which. As, as we all are want to do. So yeah, simple as that really. And I figured that people could stay here, you know, if ever I get any future visitors, and if there are any, any people left alive to visit, then they could stay in the rooms. And I'm gonna sort of probably put a third room there, and I could fit another three rooms there. Um, and then obviously I've been working here more chests. I'm slightly more organized. As you can see, I put all my stone in one chest, all my rubbish in another chest, various organics. You know how I like my food and organics in a separate chest, and then just miscellaneous crap in that chest. I'm, I'm getting there. And then the mystery door, which you can't open. The original chest, crap in there. And all the wisdom that I've gathered from the stronghold because whenever I've gone there I've collected a few books and at some point as a, a mage is want to do I will make a library in fact actually no these are just empty are they? they're just waiting for something to put in them I'm going to put the library here not a hundred percent sure how I'm gonna do it yet but I'm in fact actually to be honest now is probably the time to be fair now is probably the time. Um, yeah. Obviously, I can hear zombies probably beneath me. Because bear in mind, there's that huge cave directly beneath my feet now. Yeah. And the zombies clearly want in. So, what if I make. What am I doing? That's the wrong. If I just dig away. I can probably make a nice library, but I'm thinking about <laughs> I'm thinking about um, you know having it so that there's a decent entrance, and it's got to be a decent size library. There's no point having a library that's like a tiny little thing, and then I will move my enchanting table here. And then hopefully I can start pretty much moving everything. I need to start thinking about 
the um, brewing as well. So obviously I need a brewing stand. I'm just going to double check how how high I can actually... Oh God, I can dig this incredibly high, can't I? Let me look at the floor on this. I could actually make it five high if I really wanted to. And to be honest, I have no problem making it five high. In fact, actually, I'm glad I can make it five high. So it says three that way, three that way. So that's that's the width of the main cavey area. The way I figure it is I can have wooden floors, balconies, that kind of thing um, in the library as well. Make it almost like a two-tier library, two-floor library. And hopefully... Do I have any spare diamond? See, as much as the whole pistons for bookshelves, uh, or putting torches on the bookshelves, it'd be nice to have a couple of enchanting tables. After all, you only need like one, is it one or two extra diamonds? I don't know why I'm looking in my inventory, that won't tell me. I, I can't remember exactly what you need. But I figure if I have one table, which is for enchanting the low level stuff, and another for like really high level experimental stuff, That'll probably cover me. Something like that, anyway. Right, I'm just going to dig this thing out. So I will be back with you when I've had some... Well, obviously this is going to be great fun, isn't it? <laughs> See if we end up... That's not too bad, in fact. You know what? I'm missing a trick here. I might actually just open that up completely. Because I'm, I'm not too bothered. You know, people getting to the library is not such a bad thing. In fact, actually, what if I made some kind of piston-based defensive thing? If I put a piston there and there, one there and then, it could close. Can't put a piston underneath. But what if I had, like, a block there? Obviously not an actual cobble block. And then five pistons, one above, one, two each to each. Yeah. That's not too bad. You know what? Let's have a work. Let's work at that, shall we? Spooky noises. Now, question is, do I have slime balls? I don't think I do. That would be nice. No. Doesn't to me look like I have any slime balls. So that basically put that idea completely off. See, slime balls are a pain. Do you know what I mean? They, they're just very difficult to get hold of. What I'm going to do... Uh, let me think a second. I really could do with something else other than this cobble. One second. Wow. Is that why I stopped? I think I stopped because I literally don't have any more. Yeah, because I've put a load of smooth stone on the go. And I've clearly not got enough bloody coal. Just chuck all this in there. There. I mean, I found the odd little bit of coal digging around here, opening this up, but nowhere near as much as I'd like. It's got to be bricks. I'm not having smooth stone dominating my home. It's filthy, filthy, filthy smooth stone. Okay. A bit of excessive lighting. A little bit like that. That'll do. That'll do. Um, and then 
Oh yes, it's not immediately below. The, I think the cave roof became a little bit thicker at this point. So it's about two blocks thick at this stage. It's important to keep up appearances. So then I would have... Would I use these blocks to seal it off? I suppose I would. So I'd have a block there, a block there, a block there. I'd have all the blocks along there, a block there, then I'd need a glass block there probably, and then I'd literally have pistons here, which would push the blocks in, completely blocking it off. Obviously the, the unblocking of things. And then really, this whole area needs blocking off. Like that. So then the space for the pistons. So that's kind of the way it's going to be with the piston lock mechanism thing. It'll work, it'll work. Not sure where the wiring is going to go yet, but you know, these things, you, you think about these things later. Oh, tell me, I think I did actually I run out. I think I might have run out. I need to go back and get some. Or I could just drain away this diamond pick. Oh, I don't want to do that though. Right. It's daytime. There, I've got a huge staircase that I dug into the side of this hill. So it's not like I'm completely isolated and unable to get back. So let's go for it. And we've got lots of pumpkins and melons, which I might as well harvest while I'm here. I can't remember what pumpkins are useful for. Um, I know you can wear them on your head, which serves no purpose other than completely blinding yourself, more or less. Um, chuck all those in the organics chest. Got food. Probably do with a bit more. Chuck that in there. Combine that. Meh. <laughs> Meh. Oh yeah, I moved some chests, as you can see. Got a lot of iron. Okay, now's the time to start shifting some crap. Got more books. Diamond, gold, bucket, two slime balls. And that's hardly a sufficient amount. Gunpowder. The obsidian I'm going to leave here temporarily. A painting's always going to be useful. Building supplies. Again, yeah, might as well. The bricks be useful? Possibly, possibly. Smooth stone. Definitely. I don't think I need dirt significantly. Got a lot of vines, saplings, bones. I've got a lot of, of everything, really. Um, yeah, let's just take everything. Some apples, seeds, let's just grab a load of seeds as well. Because at some point I do actually need to set up a proper farm at the new place. And you see there's some coal there, but I don't know whether I can be bothered. I kind of don't need it yet. Whoa, that was quick. You regrew that wool like, like, like a man who hasn't got space for wool. It's a stick. I can, I can probably survive without a random wooden stick. I don't know how fast it's like a complete fluke. Do you think? Are you gonna randomly produce more black wool for me just from 
spontaneously eating. Yeah? Not gonna be like that. So I go get some red dye? Did I have red dye? I've got a random red flower. Oh god, I'm inventory full. <laughs> it's always the way though, isn't it? You know what? I've got time later to be faffing about trying to colour sheep. I can do that later. Organics, organics, organics. What else do I consider organics? I think that was pretty much it, actually. So I've got a bit of food which I can chuck in there. I haven't got any. Do I have a, a sort of a valuables chest? Not really. Building supplies. Ah, yes. Building supplies. Technically, they're building supplies, books, blah blah blah. Yeah, I am still using this as a, you know, a, a live chest. Look at that. how many books have I got? Nearly four stacks of the bloody things. I'm not complaining as such, but I just need to get them used. Not in there. Random painting, random bucket. Quite a few buckets now. The black wool. The black wool is technically an organic. Got a lot of black wool now. Random red colouring. Shall I just randomly dye a sheep? I could lure the sheep all the way up here, actually. That is a good question. Where am I going to put my farm? My animal farm? Because I want a proper, dedicated... I can hear an enderman. I want a proper, dedicated um, animal farm that I'm not going to have to be fucking about with, you know? Um, I don't think converting half a stack of wood into sticks is a big mistake. There's always a need for sticks. You just you can hear Endermen, so you're immediately on your guard. Because they're tough little buggers, aren't they? Well, they're not little, but you know what I mean. They're tough buggers. And they cause a lot of problems. Mostly by killing you. So I suppose the next question is... Actually, I've already answered the question before I even spoke it out loud. I was about to ask, do I have the brewing in the library? And I'm like, well, it would be slightly more convenient to have it all in the same place. But when I have... Everything's breaking up. Everything seems to... Br Look! One hit! What have I got? Protection, protection, projectile, protection, projectile, protection. What I'm going to do is, is in one of these walls, I'm going to have sort of my room um, the other side I'm going to have like a, a laboratory and then in the middle this is where the library is going to go bit pickish mm, yum, yum, yum. it's certainly got a lot more space inside this cave roof than I originally thought there was. I was a bit... Uh, it's kind of like, mm, am I going to have enough room to make everything that I want? And as it turns out, yes, I have more than enough room, it seems. Because even if I break through the other side now, I will find a way to make it work. So that if that's going to be a piston there... 
one more row. And I say I just want rows of books, books and books and books. I've got enough wood. I've got plenty of books. But if anything, it's the wood I'll run out of rather than the books. Okay, let's take all this cobble back, make some bookshelves, get a new spade. all of it really. That will be enough for now. That's barely going to have enough to get a fraction of my books sorted. Thirty-two bookcases. Bookshelves. Same thing. Questions. Do I make? Do I dig the wall? Because that is the same distance as that wall. In fact, I've got a lot more space than I think. So what I'm actually going to do is dig one more out, and then that's going to be the the level where the outer wall is either made of wall or it's made of bricks. Uh, bricks? What am I talking about? Um, bookshelves. So at this point, having a line of bookshelves there, wow, that's actually used up a lot. The whole glowstone floating lights is definitely going to be a, a must. So, duh, 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 obviously pistons, some kind of wiring, maybe just sort of in that corner behind the bookshelves and behind there. Because I think if you put like a repeater there, it, it should push the signal through that block into the pistons that might work. I may have to replace that block with wiring, but that's not a big deal. Let's just put some more lighting in here. Okay. So we've got these bookshelves. And then I'm just trying to think now what I want to do. Right, I'm on 1.25 now, so... Wooden slabs. Fences. All of these things are very good. Iron bars, probably less so. Ladders, definitely. I don't think... No, oh, actually, no, 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 then again. Pressure plates, yes. And you'll see why. <coughs> I then need a lot of wood. Don't need anything else. Should I think of is there a use for glass? I don't think so. Nah, I should be fine. Okay, so I've got all that. Not a lot of wooden slabs. Well, not necessarily a lot, but that should be sufficient. Oh yeah, I was going to put glass there, wasn't I? Oh well, it's just one piece of glass. That's not going to be a big deal, is it? If I put then the wall there... Now, one, one of the changes in 1.2.5, I think it's just 1.2 generally, regardless of whether it's got any point fives, is you can put certain things upside down. Now. If I put a half block there, it becomes like a half block. If I put a half block from below, 
that's not below enough like from really really below no that didn't work either or possibly hang on you know what this is it's only when you point at the bottom of another block there we go as you can see it's actually in the top half of the block because I've pushed against the underside of another block and it's suddenly then sort of flipped it upside down in a way so one of the ways you can utilize that to your advantage I will show you if I put then that there and that there let's just quickly get rid of that there we go as you can see you've got a block which is sort of is staggered a bit and in many ways you can actually make quite a nice sort of staircase almost like that or you could do I mean sure I'm sure you guys can that enderman is really near shut up you stupid enderman You're doing my brain in so yeah, so you can put things upside down, but it's not just half blocks you can put upside down. You can put a lot of things upside down. You can even put... Oh god, there it is. Die, 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 die! For goodness sakes. I hate those things. Ugh. Better not be moving my blocks about. Honestly, I'll put some, I'll figure it out, but I'll put some sort of sprinkler system in here and that'll learn you. Yeah. Anyway, the reason why I've got all these half blocks, actually no, I was about to demonstrate the whole upside down. Normally, your stairs, you put them down and they're, they're like that. But if you do upside down stairs, they end up literally upside down and you can end up making strange Fairly cool shapes, really. This is going to break, isn't it? Very soon. So, in fact, I've actually just thought of a way you could make... I mean, this is probably really old news for the most of you. If I turn around and go, you, 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 and... Oops. There. You can actually make a kind of a window. But it's a window that A has not got glass in it and B it's kind of like a normal sized opening but you can't get through it because each block has got something in it. So I don't know whether that's of much use to anyone to be fair but it gives you a few more options doesn't it? And I'm going to replace that axe before I do any more. Just because... Right, let's get this thing on the road. So yes, you can put certain blocks like that, so decoration blocks, steps, half blocks, upside down. The benefit of this is as follows. You can put them like that. And I've basically made a floor that is not it's it's quite a thin floor but it's a proper floor you know and you'd normally use half blocks you wouldn't then be able to put an object directly on the half block and it would look a bit weird to be fair It'd look a little bit weird but now you can make a half block floor as long as you place it on the underside of another block need some ladders um which really needs to be kind of in one of these locations, doesn't it? Meh, you know. If I put it in the middle. Oh, I hate this. Oh, stupid I hate Enderman. I'm going to get rid of them. For now, I may have to move these, but for now, I'm going to do that and hope, or possibly change my plans if I have to get rid of the blocks that they're on. As you can see, up here it looks like normal wooden blocks, but 
We all know better, don't we? We know better. Um, obviously, I could probably do with slightly deeper. There, right. I need to really put another row of half blocks. So that's the thing, you can't really ever make anything Enderman proof. Because they just teleport, which nobody likes. Okay, so here's my kind of balcony, sub balcony within the library. That's actually looking alright. It's a bit compressed, a little bit um, denser than I want it to be, you know, because the whole thing's a lot smaller. The whole library is taking up space that, in fact, actually, let's be sensible here. Put one there, do that. Put one there. No, that's much better. Yeah, see? We'll get in there. Couple more books. Right. As you can see, the library is coming along quite well. Um, what I have the use for the wooden chairs, you're going to have to wait to see. Um, but that's it, for, I think, for now. It's the beginning. It's the beginning of a library. Which, let's face it, I've desperately needed a decent library. That one that's in the uh, Elemental Tower of Airs just it doesn't cut it. There's not enough space. I can get the basic set of spells there. The basic set. But I really need to rebuild the library and get my knowledge going. Because, to be honest, it's been a long time since I've actually cast any actual spells, you know. Teleport I had to really concentrate on, and that was just taxing. So I'm going to get some proper spells going. Um, and uh, with any luck, with any luck whatsoever, it won't actually be too bad. And I'll just get back to my old self, you know. They didn't call me an Archmage for nothing. There you go, that'll do. So yeah, ah yes, the old box. I'd forgotten about this tome. That's a good one. <laughs> oh yeah, that one. Oh yeah, that was that's a funny one. That one. That's a funny one, definitely. And um, ah yes, this section seems to be the the ancient tomes. Don't really recognise many of these, but some of them look very interesting. I have to spend some time deciphering them. Anyway, all of that I can do in my own leisure. Um, so until next time, um, cheerio.